everyone welcome back to another video hope you're doing well Merry Christmas to you all I pray God Almighty will guide us and lead us to the year 2022 in good health in Jesus mighty name we pray so in today's video I'll be showing us how to make this um, skirt I'll be making the lower part I won't be making the upper part I'll be making the down parts so I'll be showing you guys how to make the skirt the under part and the pleats the mid part so these are the items we're going to be using for this tutorial. I have a six yards of Ankara fabric here. I don't think I will consume all the six yards. I have a line in here. So I have my middle weight interface in here and the crinoline. So I have many here. I don't know how many yards I'll be using. So let's get started. I will go ahead and fold our fabric into it too. We have two sections. Should I call it two sections or three sections? The first part is just a normal pencil skirt. From the knee to the length of the skirt is a full flared. So I'll be adding bust pleats to the middle part of the skirt. So we'll start with the upper part. I used the hip measurement to cut out the fabric and I added about two inches for sewing allowance. This is the back side and this is the front part. They are both folded into two. The back is 1.5 inches bigger than the front because of zipper allowance. So go ahead and place the measurement. So this line here is my starting point. The full length of the skirt is 43 inches. The upper part is 18 inches. I will minus 18 from 43 inches which is 25 inches. So the upper part is 18 inches and the down part is 25 inches. Sewing allowance is not included. So you can add your sewing allowance. So I'll mark 19 inches here. For sewing allowance. From waist to hip is 8 inches and then from hip to the knee I'll be making it 18 inches. I'll add one in sewing allowance that's 19 inches. I will mark a quarter of the waist measurement right on the waistline here. A quarter of the waist measurement is nine and a half inches. I will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I will go to the hip line and then place a quarter of the hip measurement right on the hip line here. The hip measurement is 46 inches divided by 4 is 11.5. I will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I will go to the bottom part, check what I have here and minus 1.5 inches from this hip measurement and place it here. So I have 13 inches here, I will minus 1.5 inches from 13 inches which is 11 and half inches, so I will place 11 and half inches here. If the person is not that curvy, you minus 1 inch from the hip and place it here. So I will go ahead and connect the lines. This is the hip line, I will come down from the hip measurement and they just make a curve here. This is the boot crack. So I will make sure I have up to one inch here. So I will just bring it down and shape it to have a little bit of shape here. So I will go ahead and cut it out. Then before I cut out the rest part, I will go ahead and uh, join the front and the back together. I will pin my zip measurement. I'll be adding the zip later on. I will join the front and the back together. Right side facing right side. One and a half inches is our sewing allowance. So right from here, I will mark one and a half inches and stitch it all the way to the knee length here. Yeah? I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I finished joining the front and the back together. That's the pencil skirt. I fold the zipper allowance inside because I won't be adding zip to it at the moment. So I've not made the half length yet. I will attach the zip after attaching the half length to 
the damp part. What you're going to do is to measure this round knee and use it to cut out the flag. So I will measure it round. I have 42 inches here. I will use this 42 inches to cut out the full circle. So for the full circle, remember we are working, we are working with Ankara fabric. And the length of Ankara fabric is 45 inches. It's not up to the length I'm looking for to cut out the foot flare. So I cut out about 20 inches and add to the length. I add 10 inches to the other side and 10 inches to this side. That's 20 inches altogether. Instead of 45 inches, I have 65 inches. I added 10 inches on this side and 10 inches on this side. The round knee is 42 inches divided by 6.28 is 6.6 .6 inches. 6.6 .6 inches is the radius. And the length of the flared is 25 inches. Plus one is to an allowance, that is 26 inches. Plus 26 inches is 32.6. So if you're cutting out the length for the flared, you make sure it's up to 32 inches or 33 inches. 6.28 is the formula we use for full flared. So what we are going to do is to fold this into four. First, I will fold it into two. So you measure here, make sure it's up to the length we calculated. That's 32.6 inches. It's folded into two. I will go ahead and fold it again. Now I have my fabric folded into four. So right from the edge here, I will mark 6.6 .6 round. That's the radius. So I will connect the lines. So right from this 6.6 .6 inches, I will mark the length of the flared. That's 26 inches. I will mark 26 inches round. I will go ahead and uh, cut this side and cut the damp part. So I will cut out the upper part. I will split one side open. This will go to the back side. You're going to do next is to cut out the pleats. I will still use the round knee to cut out the pleats. So I will times it by three because I will be making a pleat here and join it to this and the upper part. 42 times 2 is 126 inches. So I will be dividing the 126 by 2. So divided by 2 is 63 inches. I will cut out two of that. And I will divide this 62 by 6.28. That's 10 inches. So for the pleat, the radius is 10 inches. And the length of the pleat is 7 inches plus sewing allowance. Plus 10 inches for the radius is 17 inches. So if you're cutting out the flag, you will cut out 17 inches, folded into two. So I have my 17 inches here. I'm cutting out two of that. Both of them are folded into two. I will fold it again. So now it's folded into four. I will still cut it the way I cut out the first one. So the radius is 10 inches. I will mark 10 inches round. And then the length is 7 inches. I will still mark 7 inches round.
I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I've cut out two. So I'll be adding lining to this part. I will cut out the lining also. I will use this to cut out the interfacing and iron the interfacing on it. I will iron the interfacing on the fabric just on this pep lump. So guys, I finished ironing the interfacing on the pep lump. I did the same thing for the other one. So what we are going to do is to use the lining to turn the pep lump. So I've done a series of this video. You can check my video. I will link it in the description box on how I calculated the boss plate. I will just explain it a little bit to you guys, but I will not go into details. I will link the video on how I calculated the boss plate down below. If you find this a little bit difficult, you can watch that one if you don't understand this. So I'll go ahead and use this to turn it right side facing right side. I will use half inch to stitch it around. I will leave this side open because I will turn it right from this side. I will stitch this side. I will do the same thing for the other pep lump. So after I've done that, I will cut both into two, then join them together. So guys, I finished uh, joining the lining and the fabric together and I've turned it inside out. I turn it right from here. So this is the right side. I split this open and split this side open. So I'll be joining one side together like so. I will take one of these and one of these and join them together here. So the other open part will go to the zip side. We'll be making the pleat now. I will link a video on how to calculate the, the pleat in the description box below. I want the wideness of my pleat to be 6 inches. So I'll mark one inch right from the beginning here, leave this side open and we attach this to the back side, the zip side. So right from here I'll mark six inches round. So that's the wideness of my pleat. So I need about seven pleats. So I will divide 42 by seven. 42 divided by seven is six inches. So that is why I'm marking six inches. I'll mark six inches round. I will still mark one inch on this side, still leave one inch on this side. I will show you guys how you can plate it. So this is the one inch I left. I will take this six inches, match it to this one. And hold it like it and take this, match it to the other six inches. So I'll bring this 6 inches to this side. Tell this to meet the other one. This is how you're going to pleat it around. Remember we need about uh, 7 bosses of pleat. So if you look at it, now we have about seven plates here. We have about seven bosses of plates here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these will go to the back side. So I'll go ahead and stitch it around. So guys, this is the boss plate. So I've stitched it around. 
what we are going to do now is to join the, the pencil skirt, the flared and these together. So we open up the flared. This is the flat, this is the right side. I will take the pleat and place it like so. Left side of the pleat is facing the right side of the circle. This is the most important aspect of this uh, tutorial. So I will take the pencil skirt. This is the waistline and this is the knee area. So I'll place it like so. I'll place it on top of these two. And we use pin to hold them down and then stitch them together. I'll use our finish to join them together here. This is the knee line. So guys, I'm done joining them together. This is the purple one. We're almost done. So what we are going to do is to attach the crinoline to the hem of the skirt. So I will place the crinoline like so. I will place the crinoline here. I will stitch it very close to the hem. I will stitch it around. I'm stitching it to the right side. And I'll turn it like so. And stitch it around again. After I've done that, I will join the back together. So this is the zip side. This is where the zip will go through. So this is the back side. I will leave about 10 inches open here. I will start stitching it right from here. Match the seam together. Stitch it all the way to the bottom of the skirt. This other part will be attached to the half length. Like I said earlier, I've not made the half length. When I make it, I will attach it to this lower part. I just want to show you guys how to make the lower part. So, this so guys, I'm done attaching the crinoline to the tip of the skirt. This is the down part. And this is the back. I've also stitched up the back side. So I left this place open, I just used pin to hold it down, about 10 inches. When I finish making the half length, I will attach it to it and then add my zip here at the back here. This is the upper. Turn it to the front. So guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching enjoy your christmas i will see you guys in my next one love you all bye